Hello and welcome to the S Word Live. My name is Renee Rebar, sales strategist, TEDx speaker, and author. And my goal today is to help you make sales simple and fun. <laughs> so perfectionism and profit don't mix. Like oil and water don't mix. So what do I mean? This has been coming up a lot this week. So I'm coming to you with context around where's this coming from? So if you've ever felt that way, or if you've heard somebody say one of these three things, I actually wrote them down because they've been happening so much in all of my client calls, coaching my clients, working with my students. I have been hearing these three things come up at least three times a day in the last week. So let me share them with you. If it's been, if you've ever said this, or if you know anybody who's ever said this, tell me in the comments, say yes. So number one, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. I've definitely heard people say that. Um, I'm not sure it's ready. Not sure it's I'm not sure it's ready. Have you or anybody you know said that? I'm not sure it's ready. Or I need to work on it a little bit more. I just need to work on it a little bit more. <laughs> so again, either you or someone you know. Have you ever heard that? If so, tell me yes in the comments or drop an emoji, whether you're live or on the replay. Hello, replay viewers. Thank you for stopping by the S Word Live today. And so, as you know, if we haven't met yet, I come here every single week. Renee Rebar, yes, the H is silent. There's an H in there somewhere. I have been selling professionally since 1994 from the streets of Manhattan with SkyTel SkyPagers to today helping business owners, specifically women business owners around the world, life coaches, business coaches, marketing specialists, and, and everyone in between, writers and authors and speakers, to be able to share their gifts with the world confidently and with profitability. So I work in the place where joy and profit intersect. And that is what I get the absolute most joy from. So if you're listening to this right now, know that this is advice that's coming to you fresh, hot off the books, hot off of the presses of what's happening right now with women business owners around the world. Perfectionism is chronic. And so if you or someone you know or love has ever suffered from it, share this video with them and let them know they're not alone. And there are definitely ways to help move through it. So Here's what I would like you to write down right now. Sharing is better than perfect. So in the past, I've heard done is better than perfect. But then I've come across, well, I don't want to just do it, right? So what I'm going to encourage you to say out loud, write this down, put it on a t-shirt. Sharing is better than perfect. And what I mean specifically is, imagine you had the cure to something, a problem that everybody had. Like imagine like apples were the cure for depression and you figured it out. You were like, every single time someone is depressed and they eat 12 apples over 12 days, their depression is cured. Like imagine if that was something that you had discovered wouldn't you be like banging on everyone's door, like messaging everyone, like posting it on social media? Wouldn't you be yelling it from the rooftops? Like you couldn't wait to share it because you knew it was true and you knew it was possible. And it was apples, 12 apples, <laughs> right? That's an, for a big deal. Wow, wouldn't you share that? So why are we hiding what we also know are true with our business coaching or our life coaching or our health coaching or the book that we have or the speeches that we know will help move audiences to action? Why are we hiding that? Because, because I don't wanna mess it up? Because I'm not sure it's ready? Because I need to work on it a little bit more? Are those really true statements or is that just our own confidence going, what, or is it really saying, I don't know if they're going to like it or I think, I mean, am I a fraud or are they going to, you know, think I'm not real? Are they going to, you know, think that I'm not the real deal? Like if that's ever happened to you or someone you love, again, put the, in the comments, right? Type an emoji, share this with them. The goal here is, is that perfectionism does not mix with profit. And so we want to get perfectionism out, put her in the back seat, say, you can sit back down. I've got this. I'm on my way to sharing. And when you share, naturally profit comes because you're doing good things. I, this is me assuming that, you know, you're doing the right thing. I think 
you are. If you're listening to this, you're doing the right thing. But not enough people know who you are or what you do or the unique solution that you offer. Have you ever gone through your newsfeed or heard someone else speak or read someone else's book or heard someone else repeat someone else's words about a solution that you know but it's not the right solution. Like if they were to take that way, it would take them twice as long. It would, they would come across all these other obstacles and you are like, that's not right. If you're feeling that way about something, you need to tell people. There are people out there that maybe you don't even know you exist or maybe they do, but they just don't know you have the solution. So many times when I first start working with clients or students in my courses or programs, I help them just share what they have with who they know in a way that doesn't feel salesy or spammy or creepy or awkward. And they, their friends and they are amazed that they hadn't known it all along because the person who I work with is thinking, Oh, well, they're my friends. I mean, they know me. Of course they would know what I do and how I do it. I mean, and if they needed it, I mean, they would just come to me. Right. Meanwhile, their friends are thinking, you know, I love her, but I'm not really sure exactly what she does um, or how she does it, but I know she's great. And I mean, if she knew that I needed what she had, I mean, she would tell me, right? So you see where perfectionism gets in the way of profit, because if you're the one with the solution, <laughs> but you're saying like oh, so many of my clients and students this week, I don't want to mess it up. I'm not sure it's ready yet or I just need to work on it a little bit more, then you might be holding back something that's extremely valuable from someone who could use it, just even if it's that one person. So if you're listening to this, chances are you have something amazing and it's just a matter of sharing it. So I'm gonna encourage you right now to take out a pen and paper and write on that same piece of paper again, what I already said, which is sharing is better than perfect. And here are some specific things you can share. You can share your opinion. You can share your website. You can share your social media. You can share on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can share your ideas. You can share screenshots. You can share all the different things that come across your desk. Images, facts, ideas, interviews, quotes. All of those things will help you share what you know is true and help other people get the results they need because of you. So if you appreciated this, let me know in the comments, keep sharing, and I will see you next week for the S Word Live.